Okay, this how-to video is going to show you the different placement options that are available inside AllCAD and Allegro PCB Editor. So um, once your netlist has been imported, uh, the components go into effectively an unplaced mode. So I've placed a couple of connectors here um, as you would. Now I want to then start to place the components that I have in my design. So there's, there's several different options to be able to do this. So I'll go through all of these now. So first things first, um, we can literally just go place components manually. You'll see a list of the components um, that needed to be placed, obviously components by on the placement list. So I can pick a part in the list and then it's attached to my mouse and I can effectively just start to place these down on the canvas. So that's option one. Option two is what I can do is I can hide this form. So if I actually then just hide this form, still leaving the command active, so place components manually, hide the form, and then I'm going to get my schematic and PCB side by side. Um, I can then select the part in the schematic and the part is then attached to my mouse ready for me to come and place. Now I can do that one by one, bring the parts in, or I can also draw a window around items and it will bring the components in alphabetically for me so I can then go and place all the parts down and if I need to go and place them. So that's option two. Um, I can also use some of the application modes. So the application modes have been around for a while. We can look at these under the, the setup application mode. There's general, placement, etch, signal integrity, and shape edit mode. These are available in the AllCAD space, AllCAD professional space, um, different if you've got an Allegro license. So there's, there's uh, more options here as well. Um, so if I go into the placement edit mode, what I can do is I'll see a list of the components that are available in my, in my options pane now, and I can then effectively select the parts that I wish to place, and then bring the parts in and place them one by one that way as well. So that's option. I can also use some of the interactive tools. So if we go to the, the placement menu, there is something like there's a, there's a quick place option. So if I do place, quick place, um, I get this form here. So I could literally say, let's go and place by room. So room is a property that um, if I go to one of the pages in the schematic, let's go and open one of the output pages, for example, and I actually look at one of the parts, you can see I have a room property here, channel one and channel two. Um, so these properties are associated to the part in the schematic. Once I've got that part, um, I can then draw an area. Um, so outline. So outline room, sorry. Can't see for looking. <laughs> um, and I can pick the room that I wish to go and draw and, and create or edit and, and draw the rectangle where I want. And then if I then use the place, quick place, place by room, I can pick the room that I want to go and place. So let's go and say place channel two, and let's click on place. And all those parts that are in channel two that have that property will be placed inside that room. Um, so we did channel one as well, we'll do a place there. So I can also place the components um, by a room property. There is um, also an option. So if we just do place all components, I could say go and place all the components along the bottom edge of the board or the right side of the board. And when I click on, let's go to the right side actually, not the bottom, I can pick the side, I can actually overlap components here. I've got loads and loads of components and I can click on place and then that would literally just throw the components on the side of the canvas to the edge of the board that I've done. Um, not very intuitive using that method. Um, probably placing from the schematic is, is, is the most ideal option from that. So we'll just done place those options there. There is also some auto place options. So um, what you can do is you can set up some parameters, you can set up some grids. Um, you need to set up component weights um, and choose which components you wish to place. And then um, what it does is it bases it on a specific component. So maybe you set your connector as a, as a key priority. Um, and then that allows you to then place the components. But um, placing components manually or interactively from the schematic is probably the best method. 